Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another community zoo tour. And in today's video, we are going to check out this beautiful Pineland Zoo made by Dr. Grant, aka Velocity Doctor. Now, Velocity Doctor does also make Planet Zoo videos on his YouTube channel, so definitely do make sure to check him out and give him a sub with the link in the description of this video. And also, of course, make sure to click the Steam Workshop link and leave a thumbs up for this incredible work that he has done in Pineland Zoo. Now, before we dive into this beautiful zoo, I would like to make you all aware, if you did not read my community wall post yet, that probably my CPU cooler or something like that broke on my computer. So while my computer is hopefully being fixed in a computer repairman shop as we speak, I am recording the zoo tour on the computer of my boyfriend, which is probably not as strong as my gaming PC in comparison. So, so far it looks fine, but yeah, in case you notice any quality difference or maybe a little bit more lag than you're used to, then you know why you might see any difference comparing to my other videos on the channel. So apologies in advance for that, but it is really nice that we at least have some kind of backup right now while my computer is being fixed. Now, without further talking, let's just go and check out this beautiful Pineland Zoo made by Velocity Doctor. And someone needs to tell me what kind of map is this? Because there's water everywhere. I do not know this map. And this probably is some kind of career map or challenge mode or, or what is it? Time scenario map. It looks amazing. Why have I never seen this map before? Tell me, what is this map? I want to use it for whenever I start <laughs> new zoo. But also just, just, oh man, I think there is some kind of beach right over here and like beautiful water areas. And oh man, I already absolutely love this looking at it from the top. Um, so there is a roundabout right over here where the guests probably enter there is like this parking lot and then we can go right over here to the zoo entrance i think there are some uh bus entrance points right over there look how beautiful this all looks absolutely love this wall here how you use the signs and it's green of the aquatic pack those panels beautiful sign right over here of the zoo with the zoo name Oh man, this looks really good. I like the foliage work right over here. Oh, look at this even. A nice shade area. Oh, this looks really, really nice already. Oh, is this the entrance? Oh yes, I think it is. So let's go in here and see what great work you have been doing in this beautiful zoo. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. I really love how you use all the glass panels and stuff to bring in some daylight and just the shape of this all. This looks amazing. Wait, this is, uh, these are meerkats. <gasps> you can already see the meerkats from inside here. I'm actually a little bit too far. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I also really love the architecture right over here. I think it's called uh, African Museum. Oh, this is looking so good. Oh my gosh, I can definitely tell the difference with the quality right over here. When when these meerkats run, they look like little pixels. Oh my freaking goodness, that is definitely a difference. I had no idea the game could look like this. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. That is just bad. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, so we have a lot of um, a lot of animals everywhere. Oh, we have some food trucks right over here. Oh, they look, this looks so amazing. I love the food trucks. I really should start using them. They look so amazing. Right. Okay, so we have some uh, some pixely. Oh my gosh, I'm really <laughs> That's so weird. Like, I've never played this game on any other computer <laughs> than my own. I really had no idea. I really have no idea if you guys see it, but I see pixels walking around. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but at least we can still enjoy the architecture, okay? But but the animals, um, yeah, I'm a little bit downgraded at this point. <laughs> oh my gosh, I absolutely love this little shelter building right over here. How do they enter? Oh, they can enter it from the side. Oh, I love this. Okay, there's uh, there are some staff uh, entrance right over there. Uh, let's go and follow this path. I always try to follow the right side of a zoo. But yeah, if you uh, do not have a computer, oh, we can go in here. Do not have a computer that shows animals with pixels. I would highly recommend you to just download this zoo yourself. But from close, you, you seem to look all right. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God, they're not real pixels. <laughs> oh, this is really cute. Oh, they have like this, this uh, frame to walk over. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, I love this. I really like this. So the guests can just walk around here, around the climbing frames and enjoy some lemurs here. And then if we go to here, it's like a staff area. Oh, you have some exhibits right over here. And oh, look at that. Capuchin monkey indoor area. Oh, they can go outside. I was just wondering if they could or could not. Oh, wow. I like this. This looks really cool. I love the climbing frame inside of there. This looks really beautiful. Really well done. Oh, there's more even. So there are ring tilt lemurs. So on the other side, it's probably only black and white rough lemurs, I'm guessing. Oh, no, they are also walking here. So it's probably connected. Oh, I really love the, the glass here and the ceilings. That looks amazing. I really like that. Yeah, it's probably connected. Oh, it's even connected right over here. Oh, that's a really cool idea. Oh, I absolutely love that. That looks really great. Okay, so we can go out of here. And then what is this then? Oh, proboscis monkey. Again, really do like the climbing frame here lights is there like an outside yes okay they have an outdoor habitat right over here oh i love that you used um like an aviary idea and then with the glass so the guest can look inside of here the climbing frames look really cool oh there is actually a lot of water here as well so they can even swim pretty close to the guests which is just a very fun experience to see I really do like that. Oh, this looks so beautiful. Really well done with this habitat. So we can go through here. And okay, that's a staff entrance capuchin trail. Okay, a uh, trail, trail. I always mess up that word, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I always do for some reason. Oh, look how cool that looks. Oh, they're all climbing everywhere. I love the, the foliage work in here, by the way. I like how you combine that together with the climbing frames and stuff. That looks really nice. Okay, I'm going to pause for just a little bit. Look how cool this looks. Really like this. Love the climbing frames here. Also love what kind of uh, materials. Ooh, that was really loud in my ear. <laughs> what kind of materials you use right over here? Absolutely love that as well. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Really like it. I love it that you already have a lot of these walk-through habitats. Not many zoos that we have seen so far on the channel make that many walk-in habitats. So I do really like it that this is already the second one that we are entering. That's really cool. Yes, absolutely love it. So we can go outside right over here and then just follow the path to staff only. So we have a, oh, that's really cute. I like that you use the, this, uh, this more heavy themed for the staff building so it's not super boring for them I like that ah oh, this is really cute yeah i really do like the architecture of the indian theme 
That looks super nice. Oh, we can go up right over here. So if we just follow this path, there is a staff gate. And I'm happy that there are no guests in here because I really do not know how this computer would run with guests. <laughs> I'm happy that Lisa will probably be able to continue a little bit of franchise mode, but I'd rather just have my own computer back and be able to do anything again. I was working in Koali Zoo the first time my, my computer just crashed on me. <laughs> for Koali Zoo. Definitely not. I was to run Koali Zoo on this computer. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Unless I wanna, I wanna fry this computer as well. Oh my, hello gorgeous. Oh, look at you. Thank God you still look gorgeous as well on this computer. Absolutely love it. But the further you go, the more pixelated you get. Oh, hi! Hello! Oh, hi! <laughs> Aww. Oh, how adorable. Yes, absolutely love this. Okay, so we can uh, we can see some beautiful Bengal tigers here. Oh, I love the foliage working in the water and little rocks. Oh, that looks really good. What a beautiful habitat for these guys. And we can go around here. So here we have an Indian elephant habitat. Oh, look how beautiful this looks. Oh, this is really gorgeous. Oh, I love how you use the locks right over here and like these tree trunks here as a wall. Also, just uh, the shade area here with the with the the bamboo and stuff. That looks really cool. I really like this. I really like how you ha how you set up this habitat with the different height elevations. Also, like this viewing gallery here in the backside. Oh, that is looking really nice. Oh, you even have a path here. Oh, different height elevations. Oh, this is this is gonna be so much fun and inspiring to see how you did everything. Oh wait, this is not where we should go. Uh, how do we get out of here? Okay, probably just follow the path right over here. So we have a beautiful building here, which is probably for the Indian elephants. Look at this. Oh, that's really cool. Like that you use the statue right over here. And then, oh, that's really cool. You can have the Indian elephants just swim inside of here. Oh, that's so creative. I love it. All the daylight here, the enrichment item for them to play with. Still have no idea how they use it, but they can. They can. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is really nice. I really like how you set this up for an indoor area for the elephants. That looks really good. I think we came from that side, so we should just follow this path then, probably, because that is staff only. So let's just go around here. Are we going the right way? I hope so. Let's go up. And then we have, but there is a habitat here. Oh, I love the foliage work here as well with the rock work. That looks really good. Oh God, what are we here? What am I hearing? I feel here some kind of squeaky sounds it's not like an otter or something i, I do not recognize it <gasps> oh the the red crowned crane i actually have never made a habitat for them yet i feel ashamed now <laughs> but planet it was so fast with their new bag no wonder i didn't recognize their sounds oh but this looks so awesome this is a really cool habitat. Little shade area here as well. Can you also like have a viewing into the habitat from this angle? Oh no, I actually thought there was like this, this viewing gallery from there as well. And then you can look inside of the uh, Indian elephant habitat. That's a really cool sign by the way. Uh, so we can, oh, this is the viewing gallery that we saw. This looks really good. Oh my goodness, I hear another like monkey sound in the back. I, since when do you hear 
things in pause mode. I actually... Hmm, I don't know. Oh my gosh, look at this building! Oh, that looks fantastic! Oh, that really does. Oh, this is just so smart. Like, just fill this in with some plaster pieces. This looks really good. What is this habitat for? It's some kind of monkey or primates area, I think. These odd. Did they change something with the audio? I don't know. I just feel like something sounds different. What do I hear? What is inside of this habitat? Why do I not recognize your your sounds? <gasps> it's mandrills. How do I not recognize that? Oh man, I'm really impressed by this habitat. This looks insanely good. Despite hearing a lot of noises, I just don't see them. Like, I do not see any mandrills. They might be fighting or something. Look how beautiful. Oh, this is a walkthrough. Look how beautiful this looks. Oh, there are some mandrills. That one was wiggling its butt. <laughs> oh man, I absolutely am so impressed by this building. Also the backside here with the rocks and stuff. This looks so good. So we can go through the building here as well. Look at that. Isn't that awesome, guys? This looks fantastic, really. Absolutely love it. It's a pity that... Oh! Are you... able to escape here? I would say you would be able to escape. I don't hear any alarm, so there might be like some elephant grass hidden under the path or something like that. Oh my freaking goodness. Hello, noisy. <laughs> I had no idea they make so much noise. Uh, also, you can just walk around this building right over here. I really am impressed by this building. That looks so good. Really inspiring. Absolutely love it. So we can go and just follow this path right over here. And what do we have? Oh, is this a <gasps> African savanna? White rhino, lions. But is that like, can you look? through here i see i think these are gems bog uh, or gems box gem gem a uh, gems box <laughs> white rhino oh that looks beautiful look at that i like this peek through i'm not really sure if this is the the idea of peeking through these windows but i really do like it very nice looking habitat here i love it that we have this peak towards the uh white rhino here <gasps> We have a very nice close-up here. Oh, what are you doing? What is going on? What are you doing? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I have no idea what that was. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a really cool habitat anyway. Really like uh, like the different height elevation skew and the, the rock formation here looks really cool. I also just uh, really like the frame here around the viewing uh, viewing gallery in the glass. This looks really nice. This this also is a very nice little building also to get some shelter and stuff from the sun. Also notice the fences right over here. That looks really good. Really nice work. Oh, you can have a nice glimpse here of it running right where I know. <laughs> oh, I hear something that sounds like a bongo, but could also be something else. <laughs> Unfortunately, they use those, uh, that audio for also a lot of other animals. I don't like that. Oh man, I love the foliage work here. Make it look a little bit more dense. Oh, wow. Are you an albino gemsbok? 
Oh, you're the first time I am seeing. Oh, hi. An albino Gemsbok. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're really pretty. Oh, wow. I love this. Really love this. That looks just great. Also, really nice shelter building right over here. That looks really good as well. Look at that. Look at all these frames here. That is so cool. I really like this habitat. Really like how you set that up. Also with the fences and stuff. So these are probably Nianas that we were hearing. Oh, the now Ledger. Do they also have the same audio? Don't tell me they do. I actually do not know. But this is a really beautiful habitat, by the way. No, these are not the same noises as the bungos make. Oh, I love this little view here with the ostrich. But I, I think I think maybe there's a baby uh, Gemsbok or something like that in this habitat that is making the same audio noises. Oh, this is so cool. I never thought of using this like a fence, but that works so well. Oh yes, that that looks really good. <gasps> Even using it like this. Oh yes, absolutely love this. Oh, this is so creative. Oh, that's such a cool way of using those pieces. I would have never thought of that. I, I feel like if I continue right over here, I might be missing out on some animals. So I, oh no, we did not came from here. We came from here. We should just follow the path to here, just in case. I definitely need to check the animals list in a later stage. Oh, this is a cheetah habitat. Also really like the backside here with the fences. I think these are just normal logs. I guess, yes, log wall, four meters. I, th I think these are just normal logs. But that looks really good as well. Really lovely habitat here for some cheetahs. Absolutely love it. And you can follow the path then right over here. There's a staff building. Other side of... Oh, look at that. Beauty. Other side of the white rhino and Gemsbok habitat. And right over here... Oh, there's even a jeep safari. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, and this is a staff building. So where is the jeep safari going through? Can we click you? No, can we click? <laughs> can we click you? Oh, it's testing. It's not open. Edit track. If we just, can we select the whole track and see if that's a big one or just a little small? It, it looks like a small track. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's just a pretty tiny track, but it is going through uh, a little African habitat, I think. Oh yes, you have like this African savanna. Oh look at that. Okay, we we're just gonna follow it like so. But feel free to to download the zoo and just travel all the all the rides and stuff yourself. Oh, we have some beautiful lions laying around right over here. Is there a little albino lion? Oh, it's not a cub, but oh wow. <gasps> oh wow, look at this beauty. Oh, you're so pretty. Also the first time I ever am seeing a white lion. Oh wow, you are really gorgeous. I'm, so, oh, I'm just so in awe by these animals. They look so incredible. So, okay, pause. Um, if we just follow this path, this is a beautiful habitat, by the way, with some climbing frames, some cool rock formations right over here. Reminds me a little bit of the Lion King. And then we have a giraffe habitat. Look at this beauty. Not sure yet if there are more animals in here. It, oh, yes, we have 
There is a, an ostrich. Is that a springbok or the pronghorn antelope? The springbok. Look how beautiful this looks. Look at the rock formation right over here in the foliage work. Some really great work here. Definitely really well done. And very nice that you just added like this, this small little ride in your zoo. It's like a little uh, African savannah experience. I do really like that you did that. Um, there is also some kind of track right over. Oh, I think that is some kind of uh, cheetah enrichment item. So there, there should be like some uh, meat or something. I think it's something with me and then the cheetah can run behind it and show how fast it is. I absolutely love that you added that. That's really cool. And then you have a nice viewing from here as well into the habitat. That's a, that's a really cool idea. I love that. Uh, so, okay. I think we have seen the African area. So I think we can now continue through here and um what do we have right over here i oh there the sign is not working i'm afraid hyenas oh that's really cute <laughs> i love their sounds oh it's too bad they're they're pixely they become pixels a little bit too far away oh man give me my computer back <laughs> But at least we can still enjoy this lovely zoo right over here. Man, I keep forgetting. This is the um, European stone wall set and you can recolor them. I actually am not sure if that was the case when we just got the pack. Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like it was not the case and they added this in a later stage. But you can, it's so versatile. You can do so much with that. I love that. It's like, I already love the stone texture and that you can recolor it. It's just super amazing. Oh, wow. Look at this. Such a cool platypus habitat. Oh, how beautiful with the waterfall. Oh, I really like this habitat. I think there are some some audio speakers here with with some ambience or something like that with like the birds you can right away tell that it's on pause right now. <laughs> oh, look at this. Such a cool habitat here as well. This looks so beautiful. Really like it. There are so many Wait, what crocodile is this? The spectacled caiman. I'm sorry, I should not say I've sat crocodile. I thought they were, I thought they were a lot smaller actually. I thought they were around the same size as a dwarf caiman, but I guess it makes sense. The dwarf caiman being smaller, but never put them next to each other. So I actually do not know. But man, this habitat looks so good. But I actually do not know. I guess they are bigger. For what I can remember they are. But correct me if I'm wrong. Do let me know in the comments down below. Oh, look at this. Oh, that wall set definitely looks incredible when you when you uh, recolor it. Like, it already looks incredible if you do not recolor it. So, oh man, I just love it. Love the textures of it. I have the feeling that this is more of like a staff path. Uh, yes, this is also a staff path, so we're just gonna go to this side Because what do we have here? This feels a little bit more Australian Oh wow, look at that How do we get there? Uh, I think we should just go. Oh, we can go down here. Oh, perfect We, we probably have some more audio here. I love the audio. I really do. I really do. I really wish I could just Unpaused again for the whole zoo But unfortunately we can't at this point uh, Oh, we have some beautiful exhibits right over here. Just look at the little waterfall it's, it's just so gorgeous, isn't it? I love how you just decorated the whole area here in a lot more like Australian vibe some kangaroos 
Oh, that one is actually playing with the ball. That's cool. Oh, this is so gorgeous, guys. Oh, there's the building again. Just look how good that looks. Peeking through all of the beautiful foliage here. I really like how you set this area up with like the, the wiggle path and, and the privacy and the walls. It all just looks so good. It's so well decorated. Oh, it's already over. Oh, I wish it was a bigger area. Um, so now we can just follow this path to here. Oh, this one is a little bit floaty. We just pretend that we did not see that. <laughs> uh, the Florida Kilos? Not sure. We would say Kilos in the Netherlands, but I guess that is not the same. Go up at the sunset for the best view and listen. <gasps> Are you kidding? Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Um, the best view is that here. Oh, man. Oh, wow. This is so beautiful and so peaceful. <gasps> Look at this viewing. This is gorgeous. <gasps> oh, you can see some seals right over here. Are they sea lions? I, th I think, I'm not sure. These might be sea lions, yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm, 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 wait, where was I? I, oh, I went too high. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I love this viewing. This is just incredible. Look at this viewing. Every angle is so gorgeous. This is fantastic. I want to stand here for hours and just enjoy it. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh, I just love this so much. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree. Like this, this, ah. Oh. Man, this is so good. It really is. Oh, I think that is staff only. Oh no, what does it say? Delray restaurant. Oh, can we just go in there? Is that like a real restaurant? Oh my goodness, look at that. <gasps> what? Wait, wait, how? Oh, look at this. This is just open. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I love how you use the towels in here as well. Oh, this is such a fantastic way of using the, uh, the restaurant building. Oh my goodness, look at the viewing here. Also just love, oh, the, this whole restaurant is set up so nicely. And then you have the beautiful viewing here again. Wow. Just wow. This is, this is incredible, like absolutely incredible. I am just speechless. This is so good. This really is so good. Okay, so what is the best way to go around the beach here? I do not know exactly because, oh, man, there are so many little peaks and corners. Just look at this. Oh man, it's like, like, like some kind of office area that, or like a meeting area that you can rent with this beautiful feeling. I want it. I want to go here. I want to go here. It's so incredible and so peaceful and so gorgeous and so everything. Oh man, look at this. Isn't this just awesome, you guys? Oh man, I, I can enjoy this viewing a lot, like a lot. I actually do not know. I, I'm guessing you can go all the way around the water. I think so. Look at this, guys. There is actually a pool here. Is this some kind of maybe like like an in-zoo resort or, or like to go on a holiday? I'm guessing it's something like that. This is so spectacular. 
Remind, reminds me a lot of Kuali Zoo as well. There's another open kitchen here. Look how different this one looks from the other one. It looks so good. Oh, I really do love this. I'm a little bit lost here. This is the, the, the tower that we uh, just walked on. Just look at this. This is just so awesome, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic way of implementing a habitat here. Oh, there's even like a, this animal seating point. Oh man, for education, this is so cool. Sit down here and get some education. Yes, absolutely love this. This whole area around the beach is just incredible. Oh, we can walk here. Just look at that. It may actually be more like a backdrop of beautiful buildings. I do not know for sure, but it could be that not everything is, is, is reachable even. Look at this. I would love to work here. Hello. Look at the beautiful viewing you have. Man, that is so amazing. So we can just follow the path here over the beach. Enjoy the beautiful viewing again, which is just stunning. Oh, there are some exhibits right over here. I like that you implemented those. It also attracts some guests here. <gasps> are these the boats with like the the um, the entrance points? That would be cool. This is a train track. You even have a train track. Oh, I love that. And you have boats. You even have boats because these boats are going around the water here. Isn't this just fantastic, you guys? Just look at that. Oh, man. Okay, wait. No, we should not check from above just yet. Just follow the path and see where this is, is going to. I think that is coming from the from the train track. Wow. 10 out of 10. I want to go here, have a room on top of here, and enjoy the beach here in the sun. Liberia like, like Hotel and Restaurant. I have the feeling that it's something with Lider. Maybe Lider built this restaurant and hotel. That could definitely be. It is just gorgeous absolutely beautiful so what do we do? uh what Vez vesuvia something oh hi we have a pea file you would almost forget that we're still uh, walking around in a zoo here <laughs> wow look at that building how gorgeous oh <gasps> This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. Oh my god, they, it has two levels. Okay, let's follow the, the, the upper layer. I do feel like we are missing out on a lot. So it, it's going to be challenging to figure out what we're going to... Uh, what we, we did miss. Oh man. I love this. This is just so beautiful. It's, it's like a little town here built around the whole beach lake area. It's just so gorgeous. It absolutely is. I like it that you added the peafowls here to give the idea that they are walking around in this little city. But I do feel like this is the end. Yes, this is the end. Okay, just have a little look here. Because the boat... Oh, yes, there is a little exit. Look at this beautiful building and, like, the pier here. With the boats. Oh, this is so original. Oh, we should just go on this little lighthouse. And just see how this looks. It's so awesome, isn't it? It really is so incredible. So there's a little harbor right over here. The guests can get out of here 
So there should be something. There is a habitat gate. So what is it for? What? There is a habitat gate. I, I want to see where this is going to. I have no idea. What? Where is this going to? I'm so confused. There should be... <gasps> oh! This is a whole habitat for something. Is that an animal? Oh, no, I'm not able to click that. But what is this? Is this like gray seals or something? Can we see that? <gasps> otter sleep here and there's even... Even an albino otter. Yickening. Where are you? Oh, man. I love that. You added that. Okay, wait. No, 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 no. I don't want to go into the building. Yes. I have never seen an albino otter either. Aw, oh, you're so gorgeous. Oh, look at this pretty little face. Oh, you're really pretty. But man, for real, there are just some otters swimming around here. Isn't that the coolest? Oh, I really like that. That really is so awesome. Oh, look at these beautiful, colorful buildings. That's just, this just looks so good. I really want to go here on a holiday. Wait, what? <gasps> Look how dirty they are. <laughs> they really are super dirty. They have been playing in the mud bath. They might not have a sprinkler to get clean. Well, they do have a little bit of water, but I don't know if that's enough. Oh. Them. Oh, this is so adorable. What a really original and cool idea to build build a zoo like this, or like wow, it's it, we should not call it a zoo. Like obviously there is a zoo, but this is also just a beautiful area that resembles like I don't know some kind of island. Or something. It looks absolutely amazing. Okay, so I I feel like we have seen everything on that side, but we did not see everything yet on this side. So uh, this says Mediterranean coasts. Ah, but um, what? Eurasian lynx. Oh, look at that. This is an indoor habitat. For the Eurasian lynx. There was actually some kind of big aviary here on the side as well. Oh, we have some beavers here too. Wait, what? Oh, this is backstage. Oh, we should not look here. <laughs> we should not look here, but I did. I just did. Because it looks so good. Oh, look at that. Yes, this looks really cool. I love this idea with the with like the big cage. Also, how you use these metal pillars on the roofing and stuff. This looks really good. Definitely really nice work. And now, oh no, this is not the right way. Oh no, I'm completely lost. Okay, wait, you know what? I'm just gonna skip right over here. And then we have some beavers. Oh, is there a beaver stuck? Oh, you're stuck. You're you're swimming on your back and you're stuck. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, that's that that's funny. But these guys are not stuck. <gasps> they can even go underneath here. So you have like two sides of um of water. So they can actually swim here as well. Oh, that's really cool. Underneath here, cool beaver dam. Uh, okay, we went to that side. Uh, the Xana Hotel and Restaurant. This is also where we just came from, I think. Oh, is this like a dead end or can we just continue our walk on this side? Oh, it looks like it continues. Oh, we have a moose habitat here. Look how gorgeous this looks. 
I love how dense it is. It looks very beautiful. That's a very nice habitat. And then we could go just around here. What is this building? Wildlife Hospital. Oh, that's so cool. You have a hospital building right over here as well. But can we also see the moose from the other side here? Or is this... No, I think that was the only side. Oh, no, you have a viewing gallery here. All the way up. And the badger, so we should just walk around here as well. Look how cool this looks with the big cage. Oh, you did such a great job on this. I love it that they have like these, these little path sections in between. Oh, that looks so good. Is that a badger? No, that, that's a little, little tree stump. No, that's not a badger. Shoo, cannot see a badger. Look how beautiful this looks with the moose. What a lovely European area you make here. Very beautiful. Oh, this is really awesome. I love the foliage work here as well, by the way, in the water. Definitely looks really, really good. So if I follow this side right over here, and there's a little truck. Was this the... Oh, okay, yes. Okay, so the Eurasian Lynx was right over here so now we should have seen the whole european area and then if we follow this path we might get back to where we just came from these are the beavers okay let's just continue our path here at the animal hospital that we we just saw which was right over here or is this a dead end no this is not a dead end Oh, we can follow the path right over here. So we have a puma, aka cougar. Also really cool that you just used a big cage as well for this animal. This looks actually really big. Is that just me? Oh, it's pretty long. Oh no, it, it, it looks a lot bigger when it was on the inside here. This is, oh, this is the roundabout. Oh, right. This is this is uh, close to the entrance then. Uh, cougar, African penguin. Yes, we have not seen the African penguin chat. Must see them because that looked incredible from the top. Uh, the African museum we also did not see yet. Here, look at that. Oh, we can go around this whole building, I think. We can also probably go into that building, can't we? Oh, man. I just want to take a bath or just take a jump in this water. It looks so refreshing and cool. Is that a building that we can go to? I think we can. I love the rock work here around this whole habitat. This looks absolutely amazing. But oh, we can just follow the path here. Maybe we can also see some other animals here as well. This looks like Africa. Did we see everything from Africa? Just a little glimpse. Mandrills. Did we, did we see this? I actually am not entirely sure, but I, I do. We did see some giraffes, but not this habitat. I'm pretty sure that we did not see that. And if we just go here, what do we have on this side then? I love this building here as well, by the way, for the giraffes. We can go in here. And ha oh, this looks so super cool. Oh, what a great building here for the uh, shelter of the giraffes. That looks really nice. And then we have some zebras. And which which one is this then? The oh sable antelope. That's right. Oh man, I love this uh, the rock work here. By the way, underneath here, that looks really nice. What a beautiful habitat here as well. Definitely really great work. 
So then we can go around here. We obviously go back to the, the penguin habitat, guys. Definitely. Oh, this is just a really big, more plain area for the giraffes. Oh, that is staff only, so we should not go there. I have the feeling that we only missed out on a little edge of this African area, but I could be wrong, could be wrong. Look at this, how cute that looks. With a little track in the back. I really like this. A really creative way of using that as well. Uh, lions, cheetah, and rhino. Yes, oh yes, this is the lions, the white rhino. Perfect. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm not doing that. And not doing that much of a bad job <laughs> missing animals in this uh, in this zoo this time. I think I hope. Okay, so let's go and see if we can go to that building here for the African penguins because oh, man, I love African penguins. Hopefully, maybe there is some kind of underwater viewing here. Okay, perfect. Uh, the best times are twelve and. 20 what nine, nine 19 past nine 19 uh, uh, all right maybe maybe there's some beautiful lighting here if we change that look at this what a beautiful island here i love the rock work here as well how you use that oh look at that little one go <laughs> Oh, that's so adorable. Ah, oh, this is so lovely. Look at this building. What a fantastic building here. Oh, what is this? Oh, there are some exhibits in here. There's a terrapin. Oh, wait, maybe I should just go through the building and not on the edge. <laughs> oh, underwater viewing. Yes. Yes, I was hoping for that. What? Is that is that a thing? Using the bubble machine underwater? Do they use that? Do they play with that in the water? I'm not sure if they do. Maybe you used it for the bubbles. Maybe you did not know that you can have V of X bubbles. Maybe that is that is why. Because I do not see any V of X bubbles and they're just a fantastic fit for any underwater viewing. But very nice work here. Really do like your rock work here. That looks really nice. Lighter pen gallery. A uh, gallery. Pen gallery. Penguin gallery. I think Lighter may have done some work here as well. Could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but that lighter is in there. Lighter is also a Planet Zoo YouTuber, by the way, so definitely if you have not seen him yet, go and check him out. He has some really awesome, like, more like in-depth tutorial-ish videos of, uh, like, how realistically some habitats work of animals. Super interesting stuff highly recommend you he's just an amazing creator as well we did a zoo tour of um uh or ostaya something like that. i'm probably ruining that uh name completely but that was a beautiful zoo tour with a collaboration zoo with zoofluencer uh, aka zoof he is called right now wait what is this habitat for so definitely uh, go and, and give Lighter a oh, hi, cutie. Lighter a follow as well because uh, he's an incredible creator. Zoof is as well, by the way, is also on, uh, on YouTube. The, uh, all these guys are just amazing creators, like really amazing creators out there. Uh, uh, the, apart from the, the Penguin Museum, or the Penguin Museum, the African Museum, I feel like we have seen it all. So let's go and see if we can find the entrance here. And then after that, we're going to check if we indeed missed out on any animals. Where is the entrance? Uh, I feel like I may have missed it. Uh, this is it. This is it. African Museum. Okay, we cannot go there. Where is that? Ooh. Oh, look. 
Ah, oh, that's a really cute way of making a museum. I like that. That's really nice. Secretly, I was hoping for to see some exhibits. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this! So many signs! Are these all the animals that you have in your zoo? Because then I can just check if we have seen. This, this we might not have seen yet. Uh, other than that, I do think that we have seen all these animals. Uh, koalas. Did we actually miss out on koalas? I'm not sure. We did see some kangaroos. We did not see Timberwolf yet. No, no, no. Red Panda. We did miss out on some animals, guys. Let me find them. So there actually is a little corner that you can only reach with the train, which ugh, that, that is just such a cool idea. So this is like the North American area. And uh, well, we can already see uh, the signs. Oh, look at this building. But what animals that are here. But oh man, I love this building. That looks really cool. Um, so it's a little bit hard to tell where we should go with this path. Is this the only building? No, I'm guessing not. You can go down here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there is a habitat here with double fences. Double fences. What would be in here? Oh, there are some bears here. Oh, look at that. You can you can see them better from here. So you don't have to look through these double fences. Oh, look how beautiful this looks with the building here. I like that. This is really nice that you have this little corner section in here with some different animals. That's such a such a nice way of using the train as well to let people go to the destination, I guess. Look at this. What is this beautiful habitat? Okay, let's go and follow this to the right side. Look at this cute little feeder. Oh, that's such a cute cover. I love the foliage work in here. That looks really nice. Look how beautiful this looks. This is just a completely different area in here. I love it. Oh, look, these are little uh, uh, prairie dogs. Oh my goodness, I did not expect this to be a huge habitat for the prairie dog. They're probably combined here with the bison or something like that. Oh man, this is so gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, oh, I, I really do like this area a lot. Really like it. It's it's completely different from the rest of the zoo as well. Don't touch the fences. I was not planning to. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, I think I think we may have gone the wrong way here. Uh, but that's all right. Look at this. Look at the rock work and then the the, the, the trees and stuff. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Ah, oh, looking into the shelter here. Oh, I love this barn. This is fantastic. I really like this. Yes, this is this is a really good barn. I actually just recently made a barn for the Przelski's, uh, Shavalski's horse. Keep saying it wrong. Shavalski's horse. So I was also looking into a lot of barns and stuff, how to make them. So I'm extra impressed because I know how much work they can take. Absolutely love it. Oh man, this is so beautiful. Oh, what would this be? Oh, is this like the backside of what is that? Uh oh, this is a cooler habitat. Wait a second. So we have there's like a cave here and stuff. Look how beautiful. Oh wow. Love the rock work here as well. And the different height elevations. This looks so good. So they have like a little uh, little water pipe right over here. Oh, but they can also just go through here. Or is that for like the staff maybe? I I don't know. It might be it might be for staff only. A way 
to walk through. Oh my goodness. I love it that you use the audio as well here. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, there was just a normal path here. Of course I missed out on that. Oh, that's maybe because of the tree. <laughs> it may have been because of the tree on the on the path here. But what an absolutely cool way. But I did miss out on, on the American alligator now. So, wait a second. There is more here. You see that? You see this? We missed out on this area. <laughs> Let's go here. The gator house. Oh man, this is so cool. I love how you use these little pillars right over here. The gator house. Oh, this is awesome. Big American flag. American gators. Even a restaurant building in here, or at least seatings from a restaurant building. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I love this building. That is really awesome. But how do we see the animals? Wait, am I missing something? I feel like I am. <laughs> Where is the viewing? It's in a habitat. Oh, look how beautiful this looks. Um, wait, is that just a, the, like the habitat? It feels more like a backstage. Oh, but maybe you can actually see them through here. Oh, you can. Oh, that's really cool. Oh my goodness, you have an albino one? I'm seeing so many albinos in this one. Oh wow, you're actually looking a little bit scary this white as you are. Oh man, it really sounds like a swamp here. Love it. Look at that building, that looks so good with the green and stuff on the roofings. Absolutely fantastic job here. Really well done. Unfortunately, we did miss more animals. We have uh, a lot of noise in the background still here. And these are the cute Indian shops. And then here in the back, you have some sun bears and the bintron. Look at this cool habitat here as well. I love the climbing frames and stuff. Also just did the use of different materials here as well. That works so well. Absolutely fantastic. I hear an animal really close, but I can't see you. This looks really cool. Really great work. And then right here behind this beautiful spectacle of caiman habitat, we also have some capybaras. Is that... Can we see them from here? Look at this whole building. Yeah, this amazing on the water viewing gallery. Goodness, there are so many caimans in here. <laughs> but it looks so cool. Love the rocker care. And just in general, this whole beautiful underwater viewing looks absolutely amazing. And then right over here, you have some, some capybaras. <gasps> Look at that. They even have a little hot spring here. Oh, that's so adorable. Oh, look at this here. Oh, look at them all bathing! Oh, I, I love these guys so much. They're so cute, aren't they? Oh, man. Look at this little one! Enjoying the water so much. You're so cute. <laughs> They're so adorable. <laughs> oh, so right over here we had this uh, awesome mandra habitat and then right over here, which is a little bit like further away from everything is a beautiful rat panda habitat. Look at these climbing frames. They look so fantastic. That is so cool. Can you also look inside of this building? Oh, you can't. Oh, that's a pity. You can walk around it and see it from different angles. This is a really nice habitat as well. Look at the little rat panda just walking around. 
Really awesome work here, definitely. Really well done. If uh, I'm not really sure this could be, because it's like so separated from the rest, it could be that someone else made this and you, you put this one down, but props to whoever made this one. Really fantastic work. All right, I think this is the last bit that we just went, like, we, we passed a little bit too fast, but look at this. There is a really cool koala habitat in this awesome Australian area. I wish you made this one bigger. I really, really enjoyed this area as well. Oh, there is a koala. Hi, cutie. But a very nice habitat. I just love it, that how dense it all is and, and busy. Absolutely love it what a great and brilliant you hi cutie oh you're so adorable oh <laughs> you just want to cuddle this one don't you <laughs> so let's uh, have one more look here from the top definitely a zoo that you should just download yourself and just check out how amazing this all looks really really impressive work as i said please do not forget to check out a philosophy doctor as well on youtube with the link in the description and leave a thumbs up at the steam workshop item because it really does help out all the creators out there for their fantastic amazing work definitely Definitely super impressive, very original zoo, really enjoyed this one, very inspiring. Thank you so much, Velocity Doctor, for sharing this one with us. And if you have a finished zoo you would like me to check out as well, then please do make sure to read everything in the description down below of how you can send me your finished zoo. And who knows, I might be able to check out your zoo as well on the channel in the future. Thank you all so much for watching, really hope you guys enjoyed, even though we are not on my own computer at this point, hopefully you guys did not mind it too much hopefully fingers crossed that it will be fixed very very soon <laughs> thank you all so much for understanding leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys